Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are, whoever you are. Hello, my name's Rob Wheatley, this is Rob O'Han's Vids. I hope you're having a good day. I woke up far too early today. I had my jab, I had my first COVID jab yesterday, so I've been online uh, trying to buy PCs. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just can't stop buying Windows PCs today, or is it Apple? I don't know. Bill Gates, one of them. Anyway, doesn't matter. I've been jammed, I felt a bit wobbly last night, went to sleep, woke up early, feel fine, time for a beer, innit? Ghost ship, colloquially, colloquially, locally known as goat ship, 4.5%, 4.5%. I mean, I practice, I haven't done beer in ages. I, well, a couple, couple yesterday, obviously, but uh, I've been drinking red wine, and before that I was drinking gin. I don't mean today, I mean like, you know, over the last sort of six months or so. I've hardly touched beer at all since the end of last year. It's ridiculous. The glass looks dirty. That's, that's, what the hell's happened there? Disgusting. I'm, I'm a professional pot washer as well. That's just outrageous, isn't it? Anyway, have you seen, have you seen, if you've been on YouTube, anywhere on YouTube in the last couple of weeks and you watch any guitar videos, which I'm presuming you do because you're here, you can't have failed to have seen the Fender Acoustasonic adverts, reviews, demos, whatever you want to call them, that have just completely swamped everything. They've really gone overkill. And I've been sort of thinking about it. What do you think of the Acoustasonic? I, when it came out, I really liked the idea. I thought it was a fantastic idea. The more time goes on, and with all the different models they've released and all that, the more I think about it, the less I'm sure if it's a good idea or not. It's one of the most confusing guitars ever, in the world, ever. Um, it doesn't take a lot to confuse me. Obviously, you know, I'm a bit Tourette'sy today, so I apologise, I'm a bit twitchy, that's all it is. So anyone out there who thinks I'm on drugs or not, you know, it's Tourette's, I'm a bit twitchy today. Um, yeah, but it's acoustasonic thing. I, 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 it has models of several acoustic guitars in it. If you don't know what it is, it looks like a sort of electric guitar, sort of, with a big hole in the middle, like a donut. Um, and it's got models of various acoustic guitars on it, and it's got an electric guitar pickup. But it plays and feels like an electric guitar. So I don't really understand. If you are an acoustic player, then wouldn't you be better off playing a guitar that felt and responded like an acoustic guitar? I can see it being of use for someone doing live looping stuff. I can't see it being a lot of use in a proper recording studio where they would have probably a Martin hanging on the wall and some nice microphone. I don't know. But the big thing is, it's a lot of money. It's like £1,650, the new one, which in, in euros is probably about three euros, but in dollars is, I don't know, 1800 dollars $2,000. It's a lot of money. Um, if you haven't seen any of the reviews, the best one I've seen so far is Paul Daly. So if you want to check his one out, he's done a really good review. And he actually compares it at one point puts a couple of microphones in front of a really expensive Martin and plays that and the Martin just blows it out of the water which you know so there's that but look this is a guitar I bought some time ago it's called a Yamaha AEX 500 um, these were built I think from 98 to 2000 I think um, and this one I think is a where is it it's on there somewhere I don't know what year this, year this is. It's one of them anyway. But it's what it's got is it's got a piezo in it. It sounds like this. And it's got an electric which sounds like this. And the ability to blend everything in between with this little handy button here. So all electric, all acoustic. Halfway each. And fully, fully electric. Now, it's also got a three band EQ on the side there, if you can see that for the piezo, so you can get a little bit of shaping out of that. Um, this doesn't sound like, you know, an expensively modelled guitar. But it's, it sounds, it sounds 
good enough electroacoustic to be able to do stuff on it. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do a little looper jam. I mean, the alternatives for this guitar, well, we'll get to that after. Let's do a little looper jam, first of all, and see where we go. Because um, I've got somewhere here, read the setup, ready to go. So if I do that, and do this, good. Let's see if we can do some sort of little jam here. Um,
something went very wrong. Da da! <coughs> Disaster averted. What a blooming look! It's still there. Look. Now it's not because I just deleted. What a disaster! So, anyway, it wasn't the guitar for some reason. My audio interface just decided to have a burp. It went burp like that and decided to throw itself under a bus. So I think what happened was <coughs> I've been sabotaged by Dave over here because he's looking a bit. He hasn't been introduced. Dave McCallum, the Invisible Pineapple. I'll do another Looper Jam at the end anyway. But that was yeah. It's not a modelling guitar, but that sounded all right, didn't it? I was using the piezo and the electric and a few little bits and pieces. The Boss ME80 and the Amo Looper down here, so. Ah, what actually happened was, I was recording the loop, and I got about halfway through it, and suddenly I'm thinking, I didn't drink any of that beer. I should stop and drink some of that beer, and suddenly the sound cracked out. So, there you go. All good. Anyway, um, <coughs> the thing about the... Uh, because the Sonic is, it's a lot of money, right? And I was beginning to wonder what I could buy with that sort of money. 1800, well, six, sorry, 1650 pounds. I could have the Acousta Sonic. And I'm not crapping on the Acousta Sonic. I think it's a really interesting device. Um, I think they have missed the trick on the latest one where you can't, there's not a facility to blend the acoustic and the electric sounds together. Which I think is dumb because you can get a, a bunch of really amazing sounds. Um, through the mic, it doesn't really come up. And I, too much editing to do all that sort of stuff so um but yeah i mean what do you think this cost me second hand 300 pound and i've seen them go for between around about 300 and 600 and 700 pound um second hand it's a really nice guitar this has got flat wounds on it so it's, it's not going to sound as bright and punchy as an acoustic anyway that's what it came with i think it's quite fun so that's what i'm sticking with um what could I have bought for the money? So I could have bought one of these, £300. Let's have an acoustic to go with it. So let's have this PRS SE parlor guitar, P20 SE. So that's another five. So that's £800, which leaves me about £850, which would be... Let's have a look. Oh, I could get this Strat. Let's play a series Strat. And I could get something like... Um, This Fernandez Sustainer guitar, including real tone dust. Um, Fernandez Sustainer guitar with all the trick circuitry. This this I got brand new from Fernandez just before they discontinued it. I paid less than three hundred pounds for that. So that's what I can get. I get this, that, that, and a strap for the price of the Acoustic Sonic. Um, yeah, you know, that's quite a that's quite a thing. <clears throat> what if I wanted something that was designed for, you know, an electroacoustic that's, you know, apparently traditionally designed for stage use and that well? I've got that covered because I could use, it's even tone dust here, Ovation. So I could have one of these, which cost about, I don't know, they're, they're really expensive. They've, they've just shot up in price, ridiculous. These are about £800 now. So that and that, the electroacoustic gives me, yeah, gives me all that, doesn't it? Gives me... And gives me some money on top. Uh, what's that? Eleven hundred pound gives me about. Oh, I know. I can't get it, but that beautiful Ibanez jazz guitar in the corner, and I can still have money left over for another pure acoustic guitar. So that's what I could get for an acoustic sonic as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird. I think it's a great idea, but I can't personally think of when I would when I would choose to spend that money on one of those rather than, you know, the main point is, again, if you're watching this, you're probably into guitars. Now you've got to ask yourself, is it better to have one guitar or to have four or five guitars for the same money? The answer is obvious, isn't it? It's, it's to have four or five guitars because it's more guitars and more guitars is better guitars. Everybody knows that. You wouldn't be here otherwise. You just would have bought one guitar years ago and played that and never looked at another video in your life. So that's what, that's, you know, that's my thing, that's my thoughts on it. I would love to have a go on one, I think they're quite interesting. The only modelling guitar I've ever played was a really early Line 6 Variax. And I didn't play for very long, but I just... It's when you really start, oh, I don't know, um, 
a lot of players just want to strum a guitar and that's fine. The way I play and the way I sort of think about things, I want to find every single sound that guitar's got in it. You know, I love getting the natural reverb on a guitar going and getting it singing and playing it really hard to compress the crap out of it and, you know, natural body compression and stuff like that. Can you do that with a modelling guitar? Is it going to take all that away? And if not, that's a lot of bread to spend on something which doesn't give you that full range of expression, if that's your bag. What do you think? Think even, or think, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> what do you think? Um, let me know, are you thinking of getting one? Do you know someone who's got one? Have you played one? Would you run a mile, or would you run a mile towards it? What do you think? I think I'd really enjoy one. So, you know, Fender is sending everybody else one. Send me one, Fender, and I'll be nice about it. But I'm sure it's a very nice guitar. I love my Strat. It plays fantastic, and apparently this other thing plays like that. But, you know, that's an electric guitar. Not an acoustic guitar. Weird, anyway. Did you recognise any of that? Unless you're, unless you're from Tangerine Dream, in which case I didn't copy any of your song at all. But that loop was, um, I guess, sort of based around Cloudburst Flight by Tangerine Dream force majeure album if you don't know it check it out uh, seven minutes 21 of absolute gorgeousness um cloud burst flight by tangerine dream google it youtube it and play it it's lovely um anyway oh before we go someone's just messaged me it's probably filth isn't it it's probably absolute filth it's my mate who took me to the vaccine yesterday cool um dave mccall the invisible pineapple by the way if he's looking a bit shifty over there it's because he's got a new girlfriend do you want to meet her this is, oh, she's looking a bit deflated, Dave. What have you been... Hang on. This valve... This, this, whoever's made this valve, it's solid plastic in there. You can't... There you go, Dave. There's vinyl mirror. That's a bit... That is a bit graphic, isn't it? That is a bit graphic for you two. I apologise. This isn't porno. You'd be very disappointed if you thought it was right. <laughs> anyway, Dave, get your, get, that's it. Go, fetch. Okay, good. It's not a real woman. I wouldn't talk about a real woman like that, would I? It's a visual. It's a, it's a, it's a, just don't. Don't write. Just don't. Okay, so that's it. I hope you're doing well. Look, we've reached over 420 subscribers. I was going to do a 420 joke. You know, pretending I was smoking a massive great reefer. Pretending, obviously. Pretending. But then a couple more people subscribe to me and ruin the joke. So if you, if you know, thanks. Thanks a lot. You ruined that. But if you have subscribed recently, thank you very much. Um, you know, it's great. It's great. It's lovely. I will try and do some more videos as and when my brain allows me to do so. Um, let's do another bit of a jam, shall we? Uh, what have I got on there? I don't even know what I've got on there. Oh, no, okay. This is weird. Let's see. If my if it dies on me or not, this will be awesome. We do that. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do for this uh, this loop jam? What should we do? Let's have a bit of.
you go, people. There you go, people. What a fade out. Um, that was fun, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. Good. I should do more of this. <laughs> Plug these guitars in once, once in a while. Um, Yamaha AEX 500. Go look for one. They're gorgeous guitars. Very, very playable. Um, all solid, all wood, all solid wood with a wood thing and hollow and all that sort of stuff and lots of loveliness. Um, beautiful, really, really, really awesome quality. Gorgeous neck, really flat, interesting neck, Gibson style, scale length, blah, blah, blah. Go and find one. Um, they're undiscovered gems, really. Um, and if you can pick one up for the same price I did, then I think you've got a real bargain. Um, talking of which, <coughs> alternatives. Um, Alternatives to the Acoustasonic, just so we don't know what we're looking at. ESP LTD EC1000 is a thousand quid. That's like a Les Paul with a piezo in it, sort of thing. You've got the PRS SE hollow body, which is like a twin pickup hollow body thing with a piezo in it. Uh, 1300 quid. Taylor T5Z, which is like an acoustic with an electric guitar pickup in it. 1800 pound. And then you've got the Martin Fishman Aura things, which is a proper acoustic with acoustic models in it, which I really don't understand at all. But there, you know, take your choice, then pay what you like for a Martin. All very nice guitars. Enjoy what you play, love what you play. It doesn't matter what someone else is playing. If you don't like it, let them enjoy it. Hey, take care. See you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, got to do this, got to do this. Hang on, Vinyl Vera.